Hey there, interwebs! Lightning Rod here. So, sorry it's been a while since my last update, but after taking the holidays off, and let's be honest here, who wouldn't? I've had a few personal problems in my life. No matter though, because now I'm back! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Woohoo! Yeah. We look so forward to it. Your guys' enthusiasm is much appreciated. Remember when I said Game that 1 to 10 crap that most people do? I feel that is a very inaccurate way to measure things. See my video about it soon! Well, that's what I plan on covering today! Get ready for our first theoretical concept, what I like to call numeric dissociation. So earlier I was talking about how the 1 to 10 scheme is an inaccurate scale of measurement. And when you think about it, it's not that hard to realize why. Take for instance the pain scale. We humans are generally subjective creatures, especially during moments of crisis, panic, stress, or especially pain. Asking us to describe on a scale of 1 to 10 cheapens the value and tries to put a standardized range on a subjective problem. Let me explain it this way. To a person who's never broken a bone in their entire body, or let's go full theoretical and say he's lived in a padded house all his life, will experience very little pain. But suddenly one day, a light bulb breaks, and then he steps on it. That'd be the most intense pain he has ever felt. When asked by doctors on a scale of 1 to 10, he'd probably jump straight to 10, just because, as a frame of reference, he's never experienced the light before even though it's just a minor wound. To this poor guy, it is the worst pain ever. But take, for example, a soldier who's been shot, or worse, lost a limb. Or someone like me who's had a hip tap. This plus this minus this. Our threshold is much greater. We understand that to doctors, a 10 means you're about to pass out from shock or you're about to vomit from the sheer amount of pain. And I'm not doing this as a pissing contest of who knows what pain is or anything like that. I'm just using this to convey the idea that a number scheme is a very poor way to rate something. So when it comes to video games, I feel the same logic applies. 1 to 10 number schemes suck. Oh, for the music I give this game, a 4 out of 10. The fuck does a 4 out of 10 even mean? Is zero Kanye West and ten Mozart? See, again, it's subjectivity. Some kid may think that dubstep is a friggin' ten, but hate classical music. So, Hans Zimmer, responsible for this, 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 these, this, and this, may be a zero. Or someone may love classic rock, but hate anything electric. So Boston is a 10 and Daft Punk is a 0. This can apply to more than just music too. For visual aesthetic, I give this game a 2 out of 10. Maybe they said that because they hate cartoons. And so a cell shaded game, arguably what some people find the most refreshing and delightful looking games, would be garbage to them. But a hyper-realistic looking game, like Crisis or something, would be the best to them. Or vice versa. An anti-COD person may look at anything realistic looking and debunk it instantly, but find Mario Kart 64 the best there ever was. You see? Because each person has such a varying degree of what they like or dislike, a 1 to 10 number scheme just loses its relevance in a review setting. Which is why I, whenever I get my blasted video game reviews off the ground, will actively avoid the cursed 1 to 10 scheme and describe things in a relatable manner. Well, that's it for today, friends. Thanks for sticking around, and as always, I'll see you the next time I strike.